when we talk about uh, the people who are coming for regression session or for uh, QHTT classes, uh, what is the first step? I know that some fear that this door cannot be closed if I open it. So what is your recommendation for these people who just listen and uh, starting to think and over? Is it real or, or is it fake? Well, you're asking about two different things. So the ones coming for a session I would see where, yes. well, I guess, I guess coming for a course they might think that too, um, but definitely a session. It's like, is it real? You're one, that's, it's, if you're to that place where you have more questions than answers and you have a lot of curiosity wanting to know what else is out there, there's got to be more, there's got to be, that's when you're at that place and you're ready to start exploring. Um, and, and it's completely an exploration to see who you really are. Um, not everybody's at that place, you know, but if you're asking those questions, you're there, you know, you're wanting to know more. So to me, that's mm. your perfect candidate. Now, it's a matter of the questions, you know, and what's being asked and how much you, your conscious mind interferes in there as to what's coming through. So that's why we teach what we teach in level two is to show the practitioner how to get to the really mm. true core information mm -hmm. so that you can fill, you know, take away that conscious mind filter as much as possible so that you know that that's real. And the person knows in their heart in the session if it feels right or not. So, um, so there again, that you know, all of those things are going on now. So what, what would you say, Kai? I'm gonna let you answer that part as far as the course being, if they, if it's right for them, if it's real, if it's, you know, what are some of the beginning things that they need to? Well, you know, I, I could just say from personal observation, we've done, I don't know, 20. I've done like 20 courses. I've been involved teaching Julia like 20 times. We've done it person on live like courses and. What I can tell you is I see an incredible change in people from the first day of class to the final day of class, <laughs> always. I mean, the people are always like, wow, like I totally get it now. I totally know to trust. I realize my own power. I was doubting myself. Now I realize how to get rid of the doubts and they made no sense actually when I looked at it and I realize how powerful I really am, and it is a new me, and this happens all the time, but people are crying on the last day of class, and they just say, I don't want it to end. I really feel like I've connected to these, not only to myself, but there's people that take this class, I can relate to them. If I feel like I can talk to them about anything, and they understand me, and I understand them, and so we form these groups, and it continues on. These relationships continue on. Your life changes. And I hear it just constantly. So rather than me making my own judgment, is it, is it great? Is it not great? I just look at the people mm -hmm. and I see what the people actually tell me. And they feel so strongly encouraged by all of this. And they feel like they're new and they feel like they're really living a positive mission with their life after this. And that's, that's enough for me. So after, after that, uh, your spirit uh, expanded. <laughs> so it's kind of an energetic thing which you uh, talk uh, about, about it um, earlier. So uh, I do understand that a kind of thing of realization is the main thing which people understand during the courses or during the sessions. So this is a, a positive thing which you add into people who comes to session or um, uh, QHT sessions and for uh, with this meaning I would like to ask you a kind of positive um, messages for Russian people at the end of our first I guess first uh, big interview. Well first of all thank you so much and it's so wonderful to be to making this connection again oh my gosh it has been so many years and i love when i come over there and the people that i would connect with um you're a beautiful people you are so gorgeous and uh this is wonderful to be able to do this again um what keeps coming in uppermost when you're saying it's a positive message is and i don't know why i mean kai just said it in his thing like in the class when people start learning to trust uh, and go with it. And that seems like that keeps resounding in there is that to pass that message along to trust yourself to know what's right for you. Trust yourself. You have the answers. 
Um, and so we're all here together to help each other on this path. And I'm so excited to be here with you, every one of you. We are waiting for you, Julia, definitely, <laughs> in Russia. Please, Kaya. <laughs> and, and I would say that it's, it's really beautiful to open this new doorway with the Russian people to connect. And I would say like that you should be congratulated right now for the journey that you're on because you've chosen to start exploring things that are a little bit different, that are a little bit unusual, but you have this natural sense of attraction to them. And what I can tell you is the deeper that you get into it, the more you're gonna get out of it. I can say this from personal experience of being a guy that had a bit of tough skin on the outside of like a business guy and you had to be tough in business and you oh, yeah. got to be strong. And, you know, <laughs> I, I understand that. I very much had that a part of me, but I realized after a while that just trying to be strong, trying to be strong, trying to be strong, it wasn't enough. I needed to, to look at different ways of connecting and building myself and connecting with me in a different way. And tapping into that energy and getting to my higher self has started to become very attractive to me and, and getting involved with people that also think the same way, that think that anything is possible and think that there's more and you can do it and you're encouraged to do more and then share stories about how they've done it and what they work with and learn more about consciousness. And the more you get curious about this and the deeper you get into it, the more you're gonna get back because it's a law of the universe. What you put in is what you get back and go into this. I encourage you to explore these curiosities that you have about yourself, about the world, about what we live in and set aside everything you've, you've already learned and be ready to learn more because it's a new world. It's a more complicated world. It's a changing world. Be ready for the new world. Bring new ideas into the new world. Don't bring the old stuff. Let the old stuff, that's old, that's finished, that's past. Welcome yourself into a new future. I'd say connecting with your group and, and what we're doing and, and routinely connecting with QHHT and exploring, it's a path to a really beautiful new future. And it's all positive. You're never ever going to listen to us and you're gonna be in a worse mood than you were before. You're always gonna be in a better mood every single time because we don't dwell in the negative. We can see negative energy, but we realize how to work with it and make it into positive. Mm -hmm. And yes. isn't that what this life is about? It's about transforming, going from negative and making it into positive. So continue to explore your power as a transforming being is just beginning. There's a lot more for you coming in the days ahead, the months ahead, the years ahead. Just walk your path. Mm -hmm. Just walk it. Yeah, just start walking. Thank you very much, uh, Kaya and Julia, for this interview. Um, we will continue to explore and uh, show for Russian audience uh, your techniques, uh, Dolores Cannon, uh, your uh, academy, QHTT, and of course, uh, have uh, um, with your help answers with some convoluted questions. <laughs> Thank you very much. Absolutely. Our pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.